Welcome to Quality Learning Solutions. Today, you will be learning how to create your own Microsoft Forms and also to delete them. It's quite simple. First thing you need to do, go to New Form. Here, a blank Microsoft Form will be displayed. You can customize your form headings or caption by clicking on titled form. Today we will be do doing a personal uh, detail form. So let's insert that into our title. Personal details form. Quite simple. To add your fields to your form, click add new now various options will be displayed the way in which your, your fields can be displayed there are varying options today we'll be using text choice and date we'll be capturing first name last name gender address and date of birth so Let's get straight into it. Text. We're going to be creating a first name field. Okay, there you go. Now, there is a feature that I want to point out to you. The required feature. Currently, this feature is disabled. Now, by clicking here the feature is now enabled what this does it prevents the form from being submitted if the first name or any field that this feature is enabled on top of will not be submitted so for now we we'll disable the required feature let's continue notice when we click add new microsoft forms uh, artificial intelligence um, picks up that this uh, the first field has something to do with name and notice various options or some question ideas are given to us last name middle name now watch this if you click last name add selected is visible if i disabled last name or uncheck last name add all is visible but for this tutorial we want last name so we select last name and then click add selected notice last name is added to our form now if notice name the n in name is common if you want if you want to change this or you want to edit your field after you have already created it just click on the field and notice it becomes editable so i just go and i insert capital n let's go and insert our address text area Click text. Now, an address can be very long. It can have a lot of characters um, within the address. So, to increase the area where address will be entered or typed or inserted, you can go ahead and enable long answer notice the text area becomes a little bit longer or higher or wider to uh, ensure that um, your address information is all captured let's go ahead and now insert the field that will capture gender this is a little different from the text we want our users to be able to choose 
between male or female gender. So notice choice is already selected. So you go here. We have two options. I'm going to show you that the artificial intelligence behind Microsoft Forms will give some suggestions as we go along. Watch this when I type gender. Automatically, we have some options that are, su are suggested to us. Woman, man, non-binary, prefer not to say. This tutorial, we want male, female genders to be our selections, our options. And let's go ahead. Male, female. If you want, you can also enter an other option. If you change, you've changed your mind, you can just you can always delete the options that you have already inserted. So you go here to this, this rubbish can here, click, and voila, it's gone. Now we want to insert date of birth. Go ahead again, select add new. Notice we have a date function here. Select date. Go ahead and type in date of birth. Voila, there's your form. Now, let's see what our users would uh, see when they have accessed your form go to preview here you go here is your form all nicely done notice we have the computer version and we have the mobile version of your form let's click on mo mobile now if your users will access your form via laptop or mobile phone this is the view that they would see nice clean and neat to go back to our editing section click back wonderful now to go and see all our forms that we have previously created you go to forms here click here's a form that you have just created personal details form now for some reason your form era gets overwhelming and you have created a lot of forms and you want to create some space so you want to delete this form that you have created go to more options click delete continue voila it's gone thank you friends thank you for watching our video today uh, time has expired class is over for today if this video has assisted you in any form please subscribe please leave a comment in the comment section a lot more videos are coming and as we say in Jamaica no respect